Thank you. What is wrong with the British? <laughs> Seriously. I was looking at him, what the hell is this? That was so cool. All right, I'm going to try to speak closer to the microphone because I couldn't hear anyone else. So if, um, if uh, I'm not clear, please let me know. I'm going to start with the uh, oblivious, obvious dancer tutorial. So do we, are we starting the clock? Because I'm starting mine. All right, running. So we're going to start. Website's going to be really fast. We're going to find a module on CPAN using text. We're going to find text upside down and it turns text upside down. Oh, my god. Uh, basically, it looks like that, upside down, give it the text, that's pretty simple, we install Dancer, you know how it works, we create the skeleton using a Dancer application, that's when you install, you just run it, you directory structure, that's how it looks, we go on to the adding code, to the lib, there's a get slash, and that's where you put your stuff, uh, we're going to add the code, get a parameter using params, there we go, the parameter is called text, we get it, we turn it upside down, it's the upside down, uh, up, whatever, subroutine, and then we put it inside the get route, and we render it using the index.tt, and uh, we call a template, it takes index and adds the TT and you give it the text, we give it the upside down text. Then we're going to put it all together. This is how it looks, this is the entire dancer code. Then we're going to create the template, uh, basically a form with that send text, adds text the input to write the text, display the text upside down, push the button. Somehow there's a profit there. Uh, we have the form here and uh, we put the text uh, value there and um, that's an input that's going to show the text and uh, that's going to submit more text and that's about it. And This is how it looks. This is actually a website that uh, Marco Fontani wrote. I just liked it so much I had to do a lightning talk about it. All right. Moving on. This is my actual talk. Um, I submitted the first one that I wanted to do this. Where's Raffle? Raise your hand. I love that guy. All right. Uh, so I've been here. This is my first time in the States. Seriously. Uh, first time in the APC North America. Thank you. All right. So I got to do this pretty quickly as well. Excuse me. Uh, these basically the stuff I did this week. Um, well, first of all, I met a lot of people. I met Donald. Donald's my roommate. Donald's an ex-armed robber. All right, he did prison time. He was in a gang. He uh, at 15 he went to prison. That's why he moved to Madison. Good luck. He's actually the nicest person I've ever met, and I spoke to him as much as I could. Seriously, uh, he used to teach English to Weinsman. He used to be a bartender. Of course, he used to be a barber. Uh, he's a reverend and he has a lesbian ex-wife and they have six kids. I love that sentence where he said she decided that she's attracted to women. He was like, what do you mean? We have six kids. I don't, how does that work? All right, so uh, um, I don't want to give a bad impression on Donald. I love that guy and spoke to him as much as I could. He was one of the most interesting and, and nicest people I've ever met. I met Dieter. Dieter is a hardcore Christian. I'm not. Um, However, and, and oh, and he does across America. He's actually doing across across America. I don't know, like, I'm not kidding. Um, I don't know why he's not from here. He's from Australia. I don't want to tell you what he, was, what he did in Australia. However, we did hang a lot together. Even though we were really different in our uh, theological uh, ideas, uh, we hang out a lot. We went to a bike ride and we went to a Capitol tour building. We were like a, a, a couple. And uh, we went to a sing-along protest. Um, we went to this. this, this was really cool, I have pictures, um, and he doesn't like me cursing, so I'm standing there, I'm talking to the people about the process, and tell me what Walker does, and I keep saying, that asshole, that motherfucker, and I keep swearing like a five-year-old, and, well, maybe not five year like, I don't know, I don't know how, how many five-year-olds curse over there, but in Israel, we really curse, and, um, and I keep saying, that guy, that, and I keep cursing, and he's looking at me from the side, saying, language, and my response is always, shit, sorry, wait, all right, so I have a few different experiences. Um, I, every time I meet someone here, they say, oh, you're from Israel, cool. And I have to reply, well, no, not really, but thank you. I really do appreciate the gesture. Um, I went to Bed Bath & Beyond. It took me an hour. I called my mom. What do you want? She says, Twizzers holders. Really? I bought five packs. The guy thought I was robbing them and opening a, a, a chapter over there trying to compete. Uh, I saw a cop dunked into water. This was my best day ever in the States. <laughs> I went to a few shows, a metal show, a punk show, a karaoke, superstars show, I went to a crappy show. Dave can vouch for that. Um, and every time someone meets me, they say, so you're the dancer guy. <laughs> All right. Um, I have a few not reallys. I'm wrapping up. Um, so I, find, I found uh, Bikes for Rent, the $20 for 24 hours. That was really cool. Well, not really, because then someone told me that there are free bikes available elsewhere. <laughs> so I went and got cheap bikes for free. Well. It would have been great, but not really because my ass really hurts. They're really, really cheap. Every time I get up on them, it's like, 
damn it. Uh, and, and the, oh, by the way, the deal was I have to return them by November. It was really hard, hard to hold the laughter and say, uh, I think you can do it. <laughs> All right. Uh, there's a con here. It starts, apparently there are no mandatory motorcycle helmets. I'm a motorcycle dr uh, driver. But the, the pro here is that you have automatic gene pool pruning. I really like that idea. That is really cool. Do I have, uh, do I have another minute? All right, I'm, I'm getting there. Um, so I decided to give a talk at the APSI. That's a pro, right? Yeah. And uh, I was up against Tom Duran, Randall Schwartz. God damn it. How am I going to compete with that thing? All right. I suggest to do a talk about my experience. This is this talk. Dave heard me, and Dave Rolski suggested he will do a talk about how much I eat, which is apparently a lot. <laughs> I finished the whole menu of a restaurant. I'm not kidding. All right. Uh, I was offered a drink a few times. It was the first time ever someone offered me a drink. Con, I don't drink at all, ever. If anyone wants to buy me water, thanks. All right. Uh, lastly, I have videos of uh, Augie, Tom, Raffle, and Jay Rockway at a karaoke. They're on sale. Now, <laughs> but there is, there is a con to it. The con is, I'm also in the video. So I can't really give it to you. All right. Lastly, uh, I came up with the bingo cards idea, sort of. I, well, so I, I saw it elsewhere, and I linked JT to it. And what do you think they did? And he was like, that's a good idea. And he said, yes, my idea. And um, the con was that. Uh, I have the card with me here. Uh, I don't know if how many of you filled it up, but I'm missing one thing, and that's the, um, I didn't get a bingo because I'm missing the, where the Yapsi t-shirt? So I was, I was missing it until then, and my, my lovely assistant will, is going to help me. So uh, a moment of your time. All right, so bingo. bingo. All right. And lastly, I had... A lovely time with this. Uh, Larry, wherever you are, thank you. So, that's it.